Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about identifiers in VHDL. So in VHDL programming like your C or Java, this particular VHDL programming also has some identifiers to identify a variable or an input port or an output port. So identifier nothing but identifier is used to identify that particular port. Okay, suppose if you are having a hardware architecture like a half adder, it is having, we, we know it is having two inputs and two outputs. So those two inputs are in VHDL, they are named it as ports and outputs are also ports. So we call this as output port and we call these as input ports. So these particular ports are named with some particular identifier. So like A, B and here some carry. So this particular A, B, C, S are known as identifiers in VHDL for half adder. So likewise we are having several identifiers and some set of rules are there to uh, define the identifiers in the entity. So uh, basically there are two kinds of identifiers. One is one is a basic identifier, another one is extended identifiers. So there are there are two kinds of identifiers. There are two kinds of identifiers in VHDL programming. VHDL programming. They are they are first one basic identifier basic identifier and second one extended identifier extended identifiers so let us first see what do you mean by basic identifier so basic identifier basic identifier so basic identifiers in VHDL consisting of sequence of one or more characters. Sequence of one or more characters. So we can give the adder. Sequence of one or more characters contains a sequence of one or more characters sequence of one or more characters that means we can give the name as name as like adder adder so this adder is a sequence of characters a d d e r so likewise we are having a name with a sequence of characters or it may be numbers or it may be consisting of different characters underscore and the small or capital letters okay likewise we will list out all the what are the different identifiers here so a legal character is a legal character is uppercase letter and uppercase letter so uppercase letter means A, capital A, capital B, capital C and so on. We can use up to Z. We can use up to Z. And similarly, the second one, a lowercase letter. A lowercase letter. That means small A, small B, small C and so on, small Z. Or the third one, we can also use numbers numbers from 0 to 9 0 1 2 3 4 and so on 9 along with these we can also use hyphen we can also use hyphen or uh, sorry hyphen or underscore we can use underscore in the name we can use underscore so underscore we can use underscore underscore is nothing but like this underscore so these are the different characters, different letters we can use in the identifier. But we have to keep this point in mind that if you give the name identifier as, as something like as I said adder. So one time I have used A, D, D, E, R. 
listen carefully i have used an example identifier as a d d e r so in this adder a is capital and and second time i have used a d d r where a is small in the first time i have used capital a second time i have used small a both are both are same both are same because vhdl programming the letters all letters or characters are case insensitive in vhdl in vhdl in vhdl the letters are case insensitive case insensitive that means whether you are giving capital letters or small letters it treats it as a word as same okay small letters or capital letters both are same in vhdl okay and one more thing another important rule is you should not start you should not start a name a name with uh, that means a name or identifier you can say identifier a name or identifier with number with number that means you can give adder 1 this is correct but adder in front of 1 is wrong okay one adder is wrong this type of representation is not valid in vhdl okay the uh, valid representation is adder 1 2 3 4 you can give any number but character must be in the beginning okay letter letter must be in the beginning and another thing is another thing is you can use half adder use half adder sorry oh sorry oh use underscore use underscore in the middle of characters middle of characters that means adder underscore 1 this is valid but adder underscore is not valid okay we have to use underscore underscore in between somewhere of the all characters okay that means adder underscore something like half underscore adder so i can i can write it as half underscore adder this is also valid okay half adder half adder underscore is not valid that means underscore should not come at the end of the name okay so these are some important rules we should follow when we are using identifiers all these identifiers capital letters small letters and all these identifiers 0 to 1 underscore are known as basic identifiers are known as basic identifiers okay now coming to the extended identifiers extended identifiers extended identifier so extended identifier is nothing but it is a sequence it is also a sequence of characters written between two backslashes it is a sequence of characters it is a sequence of characters written written between written between two backslashes written between two backslashes that means i am writing a name test this test must be in between backslashes this test must be in between backslashes okay um, if you write normal test then that becomes a basic identifier if you write test in between these two slashes then it is known as extended identifier okay this type of representation is extended extended identifier extended identifier 
and if you write normal test this is this is your basic identifier understand the difference basic identifier basic identifier does not has any does not contain any backslashes at the starting and ending but whereas in the extended identifier we are having this representation backslashes so, so whatever the number you are going to whatever the character you are going to represent that comes in between these slashes okay and it this particular test is different from the basic identifier okay even if you give the number like minus 25 minus 35 that particular number also you can represent like this okay my uh, backslashes minus 25 okay now another important thing is another important thing is see here this is second one another important thing is suppose i am representing a count c o capitals u n t small c o capitals u n t small and the count which is consisting of all the capitals all the capitals is different identifier when you compare the normal identifier suppose i am taking and both are in capital this is different this is different both are different both are different i told you in vhdl in vhdl programming the case is the characters are case insensitive but whereas in coming to the extended identifier this is different and this is different because of this extended identifier case in normal identifier identifier case both are same okay and another important thing is comments comments in comments in vhdl comments in vhdl is represented by represented by two hyphens comments in comments in vhdl represented by two hyphens so that means like this okay suppose i am writing a program uh, in that i am having port a comma b in port bit okay and y output bit okay this is what i have written so immediately after this you can keep two hyphens and write and write here whatever the description you are going to write so this description here for example declaration of inputs declaration of inputs so whatever the matter you are going to write in front of that if you keep two hyphens that simply considered as comment it will not run in the program it will not run the along with the program that that is simply treated as a comment okay so comments are very important comments are very important when you are writing a big program to understand by the readers okay this is about this is about identifiers which consisting of basic identifiers and extended identifiers and also we have seen comments okay